so what this is is my uh, Arduino Uno, the SI 5351A uh, frequency doubler, a mixer, and I'm using both clock ports off of the SI 5351A. This runs around to a high pass filter, 100 megahertz plus. Runs into a mini circuits, 1.5 watt. Um, uh, RF amplifier. This is this is the ZHL um, 1A-S by Mini Circuits. It's really kind of small. You can see my fingers next to it, and that runs over to a dummy load that's sitting on top of a Hack RF1. So back here is uh, the rec the receive on the Hack RF1. Drifty it gets more and more drifty as I go up in frequency. Still, it's working pretty good. Okay, so the way this works, I'm putting out the almost the max frequency that the SI 5351A can put out which is, uh, well, I'm putting out 150 megahertz on this port. Goes into a frequency doubler. This is the MK3 that uh, Mini Circuit sells, which comes out of that at 300 megahertz into the LO port right there. And now, on this side, I've got 132 megahertz and change running to the IF port on the mixer. And then basically it mixes and it sums to 432 megahertz. It's 432, 312 right now. And that runs into this little amp, which by the way is not very warm. It's warm to the touch, but it's, you know, not hot enough to burn me. Nowhere near. Um, I, I know I'm not putting out much power at this point, so um, I haven't actually tested the, the power output from the amp at this point, but I know it's pretty low because when it's high, this thing gets pretty warm and you need a fan on it. So, anyway, so if I can keep this in focus. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to see if I would be able to get to 432 megahertz with this uh, simple little setup, and it's possible. And it will, it's actually pretty decent. wire because when I touch a wire here it, it jumps so that's something I need to work on but uh, at any rate uh, it is possible to get up past uh, the max frequency spec on the SI5351 with some simple little circuits you know I didn't even have to solder anything to do that so that's it